15 inches in the past 24 hours. Most of that was during the day yesterday. I'm going up first thing because I have to do some stuff down in Salt Lake. Might be my first solo day in a little while. The 11 and a half literally makes no sense. What are you going to film today? Everything. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Where are you from in New York? Hey, I'm from Syracuse. Oh! <laughs> hey, then you're used to the cold weather. Yeah, don't mind. What's up, man? How you doing? See ya. Have a great day. You too. Hard to have a bad day when you're out on the mountain, man. 9.36. That gives me two hours actually a little bit under to ski right now because I have to take my dad, it's his last day here in Salt Lake. I thought we were gonna go up together, but he's just gone. He went to go ski with the Mogul team, so I have to take him down to the airport later, so he gives me two hours to ski and I wanna hike Jupiter Peak. So just so I can show you guys now, that peak right like there, is where we are going to go up to. It looks really good, like it looks untracked, like people are just dropping it now, they must not have opened it yesterday, so it's going to be good. We're going to shoot over to Jupiter and then start getting up there because this is going to be good. There are really only two ways to get to the top of Jupiter Peak. One, you can go up McConkie's and up that ridge, or you can come up the Jupiter side, which is where I'm at right now, and hit it from that way. I expect this whole process to take about an hour. I was going to do a warm-up run and then do it, but I really only have an hour to get this done, and I think just to be safe, I should go up there now, and then if I have any time left, maybe do another run somewhere else. Behind me, this is all the west face right here. And so we're gonna be hiking this ridge and then basically going over to the other side to where Jupiter Peak is. Well guys, I'm at the entrance or the start of the hike here up to Jupiter Peak and the weather right now is just beautiful. It is just a beautiful day for hiking. I'm on the final push up to the top of this hike. And then you can see I just have to go up the rest of that spine to get up to Jupiter Peak. But it's just one of those days where there's no wind, temperatures are perfect, just a good day. So still got a long hike ahead of us, but no complaints here, you know? All right, well this gate was open, so that is a good sign. All right, whoa, much less people now. I wanna do a time check here, 11 o'clock. That is not a lot of time. I gotta leave for the airport at 12. Oh man, all right, quick time lapse, then we got a boogie. I had to cut that time lapse short because I just know that I'm short on time. It's a bummer because it's such a beautiful day. It would've been great to just spend a little more time up here and relax. Currently trudging through this stuff. It's just like, ugh, completely boot pack. It's definitely nice having my hands free, like with this backpack. It just takes a toll on my back. See the peak, right there is where the peak is. All those kids and people. I took like an alternative route, like up this spine. Usually I go down and around and kind of up this other side. And it was way quicker, so that's good because like we know, we don't have a ton of time. <laughs> I'm currently up at the top of Jupiter Peak. I have absolutely like no time. I'm way behind schedule. There's a shoot I think between like the second and third cliff band here that you can see from the lifts and stuff and I've 
I went through it before, but it's, you can miss it pretty easily. Dude, I'm gonna rig up the fusion on the head, and then I think I'm just gonna throw one on the pole. Lots of people up here. I think there's like some sort of like a ski school or like the ski team came up here to check this out as well. Finally time to ski. I feel like I've been up here for like two hours. I haven't even skied yet. Now it's time to go in. Oh, it looks really icy. I think I can drop there. Quick turn around. This is always a sketchy drop in, but let's do it. I think if I come and just pop around here. Ooh, there's a big rock. Ooh. Oh, it looks nice though. <laughs> Oh, wow, hands are freezing. All right, we don't have any time. We gotta figure out the fastest way to get back down to Silver Star. Let's go. How much time do we have? 12.06. Uh, if, if we can leave here, can we can leave in about 10 minutes? 10 minutes, yeah. All right, 10 minutes, that gives me enough time just to get changed basically, pack a backpack and head on down. I gotta take my dad down to the airport in Salt Lake City and then I wanna check on someone who I haven't seen in a long time. I was just shooting a time lapse and this was just about to fall off my bed and I caught it. New spot. All right, man. Okay. Yeah, 21 days. That's impressive. Yeah, that's all. Joe skied 21 days in a row. What's that? Yeah, and 21 days in a row skiing. He's out of here. He's been here for like two weeks. So, oh. now I have like an, a totally empty house. come down to Salt Lake City, I always try to go to a Chipotle because it's my favorite fast food joint or fast casual and we don't have them up in Park City. So... Code you entered is not valid. I thought he just said it was star, my phone number. I don't know why it's not working. Let's go figure it out. Why it's not working. Yeah, it's not working. What is it? And then 6467. Six, no, but your whole phone number without the area code. Oh, so just 317. Yeah, thanks, man. And that was the trick. Just had to put my whole phone number in there. Well, lighting is awful with the sun behind me, but look, there's the van. It's not bad in here. It's actually pretty warm. I have some very frozen gum. Not bad. Let's see if she starts up. We got power. That's good. First try. 
The main reason I brought the van down here to storage was simply because of the snow. Up in Park City, we have just get so much snow and the thing is that it comes so fast we'll just get a foot of snow overnight or like yesterday we had literally six inches in like the first two hours of the morning i'd originally like tried to keep it up there and work around it but like i said it just gets to a point where it's just so much snow that it just like isn't really worth it anymore Another reason why I brought the van down here was just simply because it was from Virginia and it was like super clean and I just didn't want it to see a bunch of snow and get salt and rust and all that stuff. So I just want to try to minimize how much snow it seeds. Definitely will help the longevity and the life of the van a lot more. Van looks like it is in great shape both inside and out just like how I left it just how I expected it so I just cleaned it off wanted to check on it and it's getting kind of late I'm gonna head back up the canyon to Park City so while I was rushing earlier getting home and like changing and stuff like that I forgot my drone and I'd wanted to get drone shots of Salt Lake City so bad so I'm a little bit bitter, a little bit salty that I forgot my drone and I still want to do a flight. So even though I'm back in Park City, I'm going to go out, fly this over the town, over the city. It's going to be a nice Saturday night. We're losing light really quickly. So I don't have a lot of time, but I think it'll look pretty sweet.